to all Patreons and uh, channel members for uh, supporting me. Uh, I'll be releasing project files to my Patreons and uh, exclusive tutorials for uh, channel members. For details, please check link in description. Thank you. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we will uh, uh, set up fire event. So on your uh, drone base, go to the chase player uh, function. So here, so when it is strafing, it will be firing at the player. So add a branch here and add a variable is firing. Uh, this has to be boolean variable. So if it is firing, uh, we have to set the rotation. If it is false, then create a custom event here. Check and fire. Call it here. Okay, on the check and fire. So in the TPS series, we created a, a macro. For loop with delay. So I'll put the link uh, of this video in the description so you can follow that. So create this macro and uh, we will use that here. So we will get the macro here for loop with delay. So the first index is 1 and the last index uh, we need a couple more variables here. First weapon recover time. So this will be float then burst fire max and uh, this will be an integer. So connect the burst fire max random integer in range. Four. The burst fire max give it as seven and connect the last index here. And then the weapon recover time connected to the delay. So loop body uh, create a function here and look at player. We need to add an arrow component. Uh, so instead of weapon, uh, I'm adding an arrow component here. has to be under the mesh. Uh, I'll put it under the base mesh and name it as muzzle and assign it to weapon. So get the muscle. Set the world rotation and for the rotation value get muscle and it's world location get find look at rotation so this is even if the drone is facing it to direction the muscle will be facing towards the player we get player ref mesh so get socket location so this I am hard coding it uh, to spine 0 to you can modify it if you want and look at player call that function here 
then uh, we need one more branch instead this is to stop uh, the stop firing when the drone is dead get branch so again put a branch now we have to get the player is dead or not Player. I don't think we have created a variable on the player. So open your uh, character blueprint and add a variable. Player dead. So if false, again create a custom event, fire affix, call the event here, and here on uh, completed, add a delay, and this will be a random float in range. Satisfying is to pots. Okay, so we will add the fire effects also. So I imported the fire effects from the military weapon pack, uh, the same one which we used in the third person template. So I'm using the same fire effects. So spawn the emitter at location, get the muzzles location. Since we are already rotating the muzzle towards the player, so we are connecting this directly. Uh, as in the muzzle flash, and then uh, play sound at location. This will be the same location as the muzzle, and. in the rifle fire queue and we have to create a projectile okay so we'll create the projectile actor also on actor from class and assign the projectile actor here. And again, uh, the Let's test this. The projectile will not come, but still uh, it should fire. Okay, okay. so it is firing, uh, but uh, the thing is, I think we didn't set the weapon recovery time. So let's uh, set this to point two or three. Okay, so some 
something is not right here I think I didn't pull any any other variable okay I forgot to set this firing here okay I'll set this to true weapon recover time should be can be point to that that's sufficient looks fine uh, we will continue further in the next video thanks for watching bye